I, my name is Kristen and I live in Marin County. I started my passion for sexuality many, many years ago and just recently became a sex coach. And um, I just absolutely love the study of sexuality. I just, I love how complex it is. I just love everyone's full range. I love helping people express themselves. Um, and so I'm just deeply passionate about any kind of show that's going to be shown to not, you know, very liberal San Francisco, mm -hmm. but to everyone to allow them to just even sitting on their couch, like just quietly, personally watching a show yeah. and being like, oh, okay, like that resonates with me. That's me. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of people are not ready to be, you know, out and freaky and proud and sexual yeah. and that's okay. But it really starts, I think, through television. And there are some shows like Sex Education and, and other shows that are out there that are trying, you know, they're trying to kind of bring voice to mm -hmm. people. Um, there are other shows like like Big Mouth actually that, that actually like strives to reach people, adults, and teach them sort of basic concepts that they don't know. <laughs> Train goes by. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just so very excited that these shows even exist because like I'm 45 and when I was younger, this, this wasn't real. Right. This didn't happen. Right. Yeah. So it's like revolutionary in that it sense. It really is. Yeah. And it's, I'm so grateful to be alive during this. Well, you know, studying sexuality definitely makes me feel alive. I started, you know, I, I got my master's in psychology and found that I, I had, I went to a very Freudian school and it was just not quite reaching what I wanted. And then I found actually online sex work and became a sex worker. And um, that was really the first giant lesson in how to embody yourself and how to make people feel comfortable and how to accept other people and how to teach them to accept themselves. And so coaching was like this natural, like, oh, like I'm already doing this. And now this is like a formal, this is just a formal training of what I'm, a lot of what I'm doing. Right. Um, and so what makes me feel alive is when somebody like I'm, I'm either working with someone either as a coach or as a sex worker and they say things like, oh, I, I, I'm, I didn't realize that what I feel is okay. Mm. And like that, like that is just it. That's that beautiful. is it for me. Like that is a thing that makes me feel alive. When somebody actually realizes that they're not a terrible person mm -hmm. for just being sexual in the world. And being who they are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think like seeing it as very complex. Like you often see shows where there's like the gay guy or there's the lesbian and, and they're just these kind yeah. of stereotypes and not that they're not developed as real characters, but they're really, their sexuality is just this little box. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that. You know, gay people are attracted to people of the opposite sex sometimes, you know, it, it, it there's just such a giant range. Right. And, and I feel like people are so, they, they feel, grounded in trying to put themselves into a box and so I want to see sexuality depicted as much more complicated and nuanced mm. and individual and so you're you have the power to embrace whatever the thing is all the things that you are so if I could see a show that depicted that mm -hmm. um, it would be just so freeing for so many people because then finally people would be able to see themselves on TV Instead yes. of just like, oh, here's a caricature of kind of what I think I am. I'm mostly this, but I'm also like right. trying to get these other things. Right. So, yeah, I want to see like all the things yeah. shown. To give people permission to express Yeah, themselves. to be complex. Yeah. I would tell everyone <laughs> that I do sex work. I tell most people, but not quite all the way there yet. Right. <laughs> And I would, I mean, I, I think, you know, being in my mid forties, like I don't have very many fucks left. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of what I couldn't do 10 years ago, I do, but I wish I could have told my younger self, you know, that it's okay. It's okay to be sexual. It's okay to 
you know, enjoy showing your body. It's, o- it's okay to have desires. It's okay that they're complicated. It's okay to not fit into a perfect box. Like, I would love to have that conversation back then. You know, now I think I'm old enough and I just don't care right. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that um, I, I get to be the person that I wanted to be 20 years ago. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>